These colors kept me on my toes during the entire painting. To depict a living and thriving world, I would usually want to use Bibleverse painting challenge week six let's go this week's color okay oh, I'm gonna like flip it oh, this one this is it whoa cool all right I love it red so we went from greens from last week to this cool pink and red so let's read them we have auburn scarlet salmon rose tan and black. Those are gonna be fun. And our Bible verse. All right, let's just go for it. This one, this is the one. Deuteronomy 8, 17 through 18. Ooh. All right, got our colors, got our verse. Let's go. Deuteronomy 8, 17 through 18. Beware, lest you say in your heart, my power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers as it is this day. These colors combined with this verse had me stumped for a little bit. I had to really pray through the scripture and ended up spending a lot of time reading the entire chapter over and over again to put myself in the shoes of the Israelites who would have been hearing this message. They had been in the wilderness for 40 years and God was about to lead them into the promised land. He was describing what it was going to be like, that it would be flowing with fountains and springs of water. There would be all sorts of trees, vines, and fruit. They would have plenty of honey and bread. The land itself would be fertile for growing and there would be strong materials that could be dug up from the ground. After much waiting and much discipline, the blessing was finally coming. The Lord was remaining faithful to his covenant made so many years ago. But with this blessing, the Lord was also giving them a warning to beware of pride and thinking that this wealth they were about to receive was gained by their own hands. To remember it was God who had given them this prosperous life. I was keeping all of this in mind as I prayed my way through the painting. As you saw, I sketched out this landscape of a wilderness leading into a lush and plentiful land. I also knew I wanted to have hands in the painting, but I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to incorporate them. And I was also a little bit intimidated. I'm okay when it comes to sketching hands, but painting is a whole nother animal. <laughs> but the only way to improve is to just go for it and keep practicing. I kept going back and forth on how I wanted to use them in the image. At first I thought I would just have this image of the two different landscapes and then the hands coming from the far corners of the painting. But then I kept remembering remembering a sketch I had done a few months ago. Back in November, I did a drawing challenge where every day there was a prompt with a psalm and I would draw something correlated to the verse. I'll link the whole compilation of the shorts I made for this challenge if you want to see them. My favorite drawing from that month was ringing in my mind as I began working on this painting. It was this concept of God holding creation in his hand. So from there, I began to hone in on this idea, a hand holding the wilderness and a hand holding the prosperous land. If you've experienced the blessings of God in your own life, type amen in the comments. And please share any verses that have helped you to remember his faithfulness over the years. And I'll also be sure to add any of the verses you share into the drawing bowl for future paintings. These colors kept me on my toes during the entire painting. To depict a living and thriving world, I would usually want to use lots of blues and greens. So I had to get creative with this color palette. It made me think of some alien planet where everything is in tints of reds and pinks, which was kind of fun to imagine. I had wanted to make the hand on the left have these cracks, kind of like when you see really dry dirt, to further represent how apart from God there is no life. I was also thinking of all the different proverbs that talk about how pride comes before destruction, but humility leads to honor. The lines weren't really working out that well though, so I ended up covering it with another layer of paint. It still left a rough looking texture, which I think worked better in the end. I couldn't help but think of all the places the Lord has brought me through over the years, and all the blessings he has brought into my life. 
this verse still rings true as a reminder to us today that when we receive blessings from God, we remember it wasn't by our own hand, but by his hand, that we remain humble and in tune to our dependence on him and trust his leading in our lives. There are seasons when we have to go through some rough patches, sometimes because of our own decisions and other times for reasons completely out of our control. Either way, when we put our trust in God and lean into him for comfort, we will find the blessings both within the trials as well as the hope that in time he will bring us out of the wilderness and into a better place. You can follow along with these painting challenge videos and also catch other creative videos that help deepen your faith and relationship with God over here next. Thank you for watching. This has been KO here with you to create eternal perspective. <laughs>